We all have an inner warrior that wants to be unleashed. So whether your goal is to compete in an obstacle course, perform aerial tricks, or just climb the monkey bars at the park, you can train to condition your body ninja warrior style using your total gem. So I've created a hit circuit that develops the strength needed for body weight mastery. What you'll need for this hit circuit is your total gem, a set of hand weights for your warm up, and it's not needed if you don't have any. The accessory that you'll need are your pull up bars, the ab crunch accessory, as well as your squat stand and your cables. When you're adjusting your incline, make sure that you're accommodating your strength level. You can always increase or decrease the incline to really challenge your body. So let's get right into learning the exercises for this ninja workout. The ninja workout includes a dynamic warm up, two circuit workouts, and a cool down. For the dynamic warm up, you perform each exercise listed for 30 to 60 seconds, depending on your strength as well as the time allowed for your workout. And you'll repeat that for two sets. Then you'll move directly on into the first circuit. For the circuit, you'll perform all the exercise listed. The first set will be for 30 seconds, the second set is 60 seconds, and the third set, if you have time and the strength, is for 90 seconds. And this is always something you can build up to. Then you'll move directly on into the second circuit and perform it the same way. First set 30, second 60, and the third set 90. Then once you're done, you'll end with your cool down and stretch. So let's go ahead and learn the exercises for your dynamic warm up. I've added a set of hand weights into the dynamic warm-up to increase the intensity. So once you've done a series of stretches, you'll come right into jack squats. Bring the arms up by your shoulders and jack the leg with tiny little presses. You can also intensify this by straddling the glide board, slowing down your pace, and touch the hips to the glide board each time to make sure that you're keeping your body pressing back and warming up your hips, your shoulders, as well as your cardiovascular system. The second exercise is a jump squat roll down. You'll face away from your tower at the very bottom base. You'll squat down, jump up, sit down, roll down, stand back up, and jump again. So you want to make sure that you keep your feet on the floor when you roll down so that when you stand back up, you're right into the same place that you need to be. Next is a lunge drop straddle. You'll straddle the bottom base of your glide board, bring your arms up to your shoulders, and you're gonna drop into a lunge so that your knee touches down to the glide board, hop back to the center into a squat, and then go to the other side. So you'll increase your intensity by picking up your pace. Then you can add an arm press. This works your cardiovascular system, your legs, as well as your arms. The next exercise are four push-ups followed by two plank slides. The higher the incline, the more it'll accommodate your strength. The lower, the harder it is. So open up your glide board, come into your plank position. You'll do four push-ups and then follow it by two plank slides. So your forearms come down to the glide board and slide back up into position. And then you'll repeat. You wanna make sure that you keep the plank at all times, keeping a nice long line from your head to your heels. Once you're done with that, you'll stay in your plank position for groiners. You'll step one leg up to feel the stretch in your inner thigh as well as your groin, and then change sides. Now keep trying to keep your glide board open so that it works on your balance, and it works to your upper body, your shoulders. Once you've got this rhythm, you want to increase the intensity, take it into a little hop. So you're straddling the glide board, keeping your shoulders on top of your wrists, thrust your hips up so that you land down, then you feel the stretch as well as your cardiovascular system working. Once you've completed the dynamic warm-up, you'll move right into the first ninja circuit. Have your incline placed at a higher level for your strength. Attach your pull-up bars as well as your squat stand. The first exercise is a pull-up series. So move the glide board up the rails, go into a prime position with your chest up at the top, and cross at the ankles so it stays out of the way of the squat stand. You lower down and up, squeezing the upper back, middle as well as lower. You can change this by turning it into an uneven grip. So one palm is facing up and one palm is facing down. And then you can switch it. Just remember, you're going for time, so you can mix these up. You can also add a plyometric jump. And you can also add a single arm lower. Power it up, single arm lower, up and down. So wherever it is, just really challenge your body through the pull-up series. Next is a single leg jump. Quickly remove your pull-up bars and come down to a side-lying position. 
The leg that's closest to the floor is your jumping leg. The top leg will bend. Hold onto your glide board for balance and keep your hips stacked. You'll add a little jump, keeping that body in alignment, your core is engaged, and try to really explode up the rails. Make sure that you do this exercise on both sides for the same amount of time. This next exercise is really gonna rev up your heart rate. It's called leap over burpees. I'm gonna keep the squat stand on so it gives you a reference point of something to jump over. You'll place your hands onto the glide board, jump over bringing your heels to your glutes, press back into a burpee, and then go to the other side. So you're leaping from side to side, keeping your core engaged, getting your speed going so you're really maximizing your intensity. Add a push up if you want more and keep doing this until your time's up. And the last exercise in this circuit are push-up pike-ups. Quickly remove your squat stand and lower your incline to a low to medium level. Face away from your tower and place your hands at the bottom base. Open the glide board and come into a plank position. You'll pike your hips up, keeping your legs straight, your arms straight, lower down, and add a push-up. So you wanna really engage your core. Make sure that your nose comes forward above your fingers when you go into your push-up. Now to modify this, you can do the same exercise on your knees. You can always build up to straight legs. Once you've completed the first circuit, take a quick breather and then move directly into circuit number two to perform in the same manner, 30, 60, and 90 seconds of each exercise. The setup for circuit number two, you will have the cables connected, lower your incline to a low or medium level, and you'll grab one cable into the hand of the same side that you're standing on. Anchor down and come up right behind the fist. You'll row one high, rotating through the waist, and then one low. So you're getting different angles of the back, you're using your torso, rotating the power through your waistline. And then to advance this, you'll add a little different mode. You'll anchor down and come into a kneeling position. You'll perform one row, anchor down, quickly change the feet, and perform the low row. You can add a little hop with this to make it that ninja style. Of course, you've got to intensify your body whenever your body's ready. And make sure that you do this exercise on both sides for the same amount of time. Then you'll move into static bicep and triceps. You grab both cables, come down into the same position, either kneeling or sitting. Keep your torso nice and long, and you'll come right into a bicep curl. Extend one arm, and then switch it without moving that glide board. Try to go as fast as you possibly can. Once the time is up, go right into your triceps and perform in the same way. One arm bends, then the other. Try not to move your glide board throughout the entire exercise. The next exercise requires your ab crunch accessory, so quickly remove your cables and attach your ab crunch. Adjust the incline to accommodate your strength as well. The higher the incline, the harder the challenge. Move the glide board up the rails and come into a kneeling position. Tap your toes to keep your body in position. Your arms are placed onto the pads and you want to keep your shoulders on top of your elbows at all times. The lower body is what moves and the upper body stays stable. So you really want to activate your core by drawing it in every time the knees pull in. Make sure that you're breathing, inhaling and exhaling each time. From here, you can lift the knees off of the glide board and come into a more intensified knee tuck crunch. You can turn your hips to the side, keeping your knees down on the glide board, or again, lift the knees off to intensify the core challenge. And of course, you'll do that on the other side. And then the last part in the series is a pipe up. So you'll straighten the legs to keep your core tight at all times. Now these are exercises that you can do within the series to mix up throughout the time allotted for the exercise. To finish off the circuit, you'll do a forearm crawl. Come to the bottom base, face your tower, and come into a forearm plank position. Keep your feet close to the bottom base, and your forearms will do the walking. Keep your plank at all times, and be mindful that you don't walk too far up the glide board because your ab accessory is on. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping your body position to accommodate your height. The lower the incline, the harder the challenge. If you really wanna maximize your time into the circuit, and transition from one exercise to the other. Finish off your ninja circuit with a series of stretches that lengthen your muscles and prepare you for your next workout. The first one is a runner's lunge. 
You'll use your glide board and come into a long position with one leg facing down and the other leg is bent. You can come onto an open position and just kind of move through it as you rock through the back heel. This will open up through your hip flexors as well as stretch your quad and your glutes. Then you'll do this one on the other side. The next stretch is a figure four. So you'll face away from your tower, sit at the bottom base of your glide board and place one foot into the bottom base rail. Cross one leg over, and then you'll just bend the knee coming down into that stretch that you feel it in the outer thigh, as well as your inner thigh. And you can move the glide board up and down the rails to feel the stretch where you need it most. Once you feel that stretch, you can hold it for 10 to 30 seconds. You can also do this exercise lying down. Just make sure that you feel the stretch where you need it most and do it on both sides. And the last stretch is a forward fold and rotate. Straddle your total gym, face your tower, open up the glide board and hinge forward. Reach the arms up the rails as you stretch through the upper back, lower back, the hamstrings, the glutes. Keep your toes and knees forward or slightly turned in. Take one hand into the center of your glide board and rotate the arm up. Feel a nice long stretch coming through your shoulders as well as your torso and then change sides. Once you're ready to come up, lower the incline, bend your knees and come up to a standing position. And that completes the ninja workout. I encourage you to tackle these exercises or similar ones in the same format to bring out the inner warrior in you.